Hey, hi there you guys, Scorpio. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. Scorpio, I'd like to thank you guys for supporting my channel. The likes and the subscribes and the comments, they really keep me going. Thank you. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck one oracle card from Ask Your Guides, and one card from the Lover's Oracle. And now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Number 21 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, The World. This is a major completion, a cycle completing, and now there's going to be a new beginning. You're represented here as one of the fixed signs. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. This is an Earth Energy card. Could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Uh, there's some mastery involved here. A cycle is completing. And there's going to be major life changes coming. You've come full circle. And now you feel more accomplished. And you're more experienced. The wreath of olive leaves signifies victory over struggles that we undergo. And the woman holds two candles, and they're burning at both ends. And that represents total illumination, as above, so below. And this indicates that she has a mandate from heaven to continue on her path and create her life. This person knows about life and about pain, and yet they still dance for joy. There is growth into a new level, and success is forthcoming. It can also represent travel, even long distance or distance. This can be the worldwide internet. It can also be a change of residence. It is life-changing, and it's an elevation in life. It's the fulfillment of your hopes and dreams, achievements, well-being, and their support by unseen forces. This is assured success, and it's the ability to overcome problems and obstacles and sorrow. It's a resolution after struggle. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Scorpio. It's a really good card. The Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a new tangible beginning. It is a gateway card. Being on the correct path. This is a gift from the universe. New money, new success, new opportunity. It's like having a mini sun in your reading. In this position, as a challenge... There could be some restrictions, or it's just a false start. Could be overemphasis on money and security, and could be some physical health issues in this position. This could be a premature start. There could be some risk. The world with the Ace of Pentacles is money solutions that are imminent. This is a cycle completing and potential for a tangible new beginning. It's completion and reward, and you already have an idea where it's going to take you. It's moving on up. And the eagerness to get to that next level. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Leo. I mean, Scorpio. Why did I say Leo? have to think about that one. You guys maybe know a Leo you're dealing with. The Page of Pentacles here is not fire energy. It's earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is fascinated with that unmanifested Ace of Pentacles there. That's what's in his hands. And he's quite focused on it. They're fascinated. They're interested. This can be an offer, a communication takes time, but it's worth the wait, and it brings instability. 
This is focused on a, a well thought out message, and you may need to wait for its arrival. The page is slower, they have no horse, so it takes longer. It can be an unexpected new start, a trigger point, the beginning of something new and underdeveloped. It's an opportunity to make money. Could be starting at the bottom with plenty of promise for future growth. It's being productive. You could be finding something. This can also be someone who is a student. They have respect for learning. And they're all goal-oriented. They move slowly. They're absorbed and practical and cautious. This could be a new job or a new project or a new investment, even new studies. Someone could be reaching out. It could even be an apology. But their attitude suggests they desire money. They could be youthful and immature, yet they're dependable and practical. And they're willing to work hard to gain new knowledge and skills. There's love of material things. And this is the power of youth in a new stage in learning. Someone may need to refrain from behaving childishly with finances. The world with the Page of Pentacles is good news about a long-term goal. It's looking forward to achievement and accomplishments with a new tangible opportunity. Your fourth card. It's a card of the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. Number 17 of the Major Arcana, the Star. Scorpio, this card is ruled by Uranus. This can be an Aquarius. Aquarius could be in your chart or someone else's. This is wishes coming true. It's inside and inspiration. So take heart because the star lights your way. It's hope and renewal. It's faith renewed. It's great love and great hope. Revelation. It's peace and major growth and development. The star carries bright promises and blessings. And these blessings are going to be flowing freely like water. And what you are wishing for is in alignment with the highest good of all and will be easy to manifest. The star guides us on our journey. And there is unselfish aid, good health. It's the gifts of the Spirit. It's great love that will be given and received, hope, health, and inspiration. It's the peace and the confidence that comes after the explosion of the tower. So be ready to receive this positive energy flowing freely into your life and make the most of the now and put yourself in the center of things. This is hope and calm and a relaxed but eager frame of mind with serenity. It's comfort and hope that spring forth. If this isn't has to do with love, a partnership goes to the next level. And if you're single, be ready to let go of the past and open up to new love. And have faith that your needs will be met. This is help from the unseen. The world with the star card is a completion and wholeness. It's hope for a peaceful resolution. It's being at peace with a cycle completing. It's healing and reflecting. Here's your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen. It's because it's something that you're not sharing with others. Yet you are consciously aware of the Scorpio, Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And here's that pentacle in their hand again. This is being more focused on getting things done. Knights are cards of movement, and this is the slowest moving knight. And he is on a mission, and he's going to do his duty. He could be bringing good news or communication. can also indicate the coming or going of a matter. This could be good news about money. And they may move with the flow. They're being responsible and predictable and determined. Laborious and patient. They measure tangible results, and they can overthink at times. You may hear this person say, time is money, and they think before they act. They carefully consider where the value is, and they could be keeping their actions simple. They make good use of their time, 
by steadily working on things that need to get done, and then they develop experience and self-possession. This is having the capabilities you need to solve problems. The World Card with the Knight of Pentacles is a major cycle, slowly completing. It could also be government work. It's a new cycle that begins with long-term work. The Ace of Pentacles with the Page of Pentacles is investing in yourself and working towards a new goal. The Ace of Pentacles with the Star card is good for business. This could be a casual inspiration that could become profitable. This is one of the greatest combinations in the tarot. The Ace of Pentacles and the Star. It's a new beginning and dreams coming true. The Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles is knowing the right action to take. It could be a new job with great potential. The Page of Pentacles with the Star card is dreaming how to apply your practical abilities. It's getting recognition for your physical appearance. appearance. This could even be a model dreaming of success. The Page of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles is a positive outcome to a financial or practical decision. It's mentoring. This can be the slow delivery of a message. And it's being focused very firmly on a goal. It can also represent email messages. The star with the Knight of Pentacles is hope and faith to move steadily forward. Here's your oracle card from Ask Your Guides by Sonia Choquette. Scorpio, you've got card number 25, Shadow, from your Divine Healers. Card number 25, Shadow. Anger, vengeance, violation, spite. Although no one likes to admit it, we all have our dark sides and shadows, those less than flattering facets of our personality that take delight in abusing and shaming others and wielding power in the most unfair ways. Whether it's the condescending remark to the slow-moving grocery beggar at the supermarket, or the aggressive hand gesture dedicated towards the meandering driver on the road, or the belittling comment made to your uncooperative child, many of us are guilty of hurting or deriding others at times. Your divine healers are present now to help you witness your shadow, lovingly making sure that you're aware that it's actually contempt for yourself and your vulnerabilities that fuel such host hostility towards others. These gentle but powerful higher forces around you in, in love and urge you to they surround you in love and urge you to accept and embrace your weaker aspects rather than harshly rejecting yourself by attacking, attacking those aspects in others. Ease up and be more tolerant of yourself. If you do so, these shadows will give away to light and healing. Your Divine Healer's message? Ask for help and accept our light. Here's your Lover's Oracle card by Tony Carmine Slarino. Trust, Scorpio. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Trust, Scorpio. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Thanks, you guys, Scorpio. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember... What goes around comes around. So I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.